I was so devastating with that huge blowout fight in episode 10. And I mean, obviously I can't give anything away, but I know Max is hurting. I know betrayal is deep for her. Um, and so I'm excited to see how audiences react to that. And I know that they're excited to see if Mang gets back together and I just want them to watch and see. How is Marcus and Maxine's relationship when we pick up in season two? They were not really on great terms when we left them. That's that a is, great question. Yeah, that's actually brilliant. <laughs> um, I think at the end of season one, obviously Max is pretty pissed. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that's normal for a bro cis relationship. And I've certainly enjoyed watching them get on each other's nerves. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and so I think, but I, I do think something really beautiful that happens in season two is you do get to see a lot more of Marcus and Max's relationship. And mm -hmm. while they are the people who can push each other's buttons the hardest, they're also the people who care most about each other. Yeah. And I think that's really beautiful to see. Absolutely. I, I, you've said it perfectly. I know. <laughs> Sarah, well, Max is really just this ball of energy and enthusiasm, but, you know, things aren't really going great for her at the moment. So what is her art going to look like in season two? Yeah, I think uh, something really special that the writers did this year is they showed the flip side of her, which is as deeply as she loves and as big a ball of energy she can be, she can also hurt incredibly deeply and feel a lot of pain um, and just have those very high highs and very low lows. And so I loved seeing her go through her Mad Max phase um, and seeing her get really angry and how she deals with that and how she deals with betrayal and heartbreak. I just think she's such a fun character. Um, to get to play and get to learn about. And I learned so much more about her this year. And I think her arc is one of change and growth. And I'm excited for it. <laughs> well, how is Marcus doing without Ginny around right now? Because, I mean, she I, she's his closest friend, I would say, besides Max. I think, you know, there's just a sense of... Uh, we, we leave off season one on a sense of worry and a sense of care. I think they learn so much about each other throughout season one uh, and... Marcus and Ginny kind of have a, a shared vulnerability in that sense. And so he going into season two is, I think, just concerned and wants her to be OK. Um, at the same time as like being confused as to why she why she just took off. Um, but I think throughout the season, we just kind of get to explore that love and get to explore that connection and kind of see where it goes. What about Meng? Because we left them not in the best place and they're such a great friendship. So, you know, what is that going to look like? Is there hope in season two? <laughs> <laughs> I love, love, love Mang. I love female friendships. That was one of my favorite things about season mm -hmm. one was watching that friendship come to life on screen. Uh, that's why it was so devastating with that huge blowout fight in episode 10. And I mean, obviously I can't give anything away, but I know Max is hurting. I know betrayal is deep for her. Um, and so I'm excited to see how audiences react to that. And I know that they're excited to see if Mang gets back together. And I just want them to watch and see. Felix, are we going to learn? We do know that Marcus had a best friend who died. Are we going to learn any more about that this season? Because it, it's only been touched on a few times in the first season. It has. And I think it was one of those things that it kind of informed the audience on where Marcus was at and kind of kind of show that he has a deeper range of emotion than we might initially think. He was kind of initially painted as uh, maybe just aloof or maybe just, you know, didn't really care about anything. But as we, the season goes on, you kind of learn that he has a capacity for, for great pain and a capacity to actually feel a lot more than we initially expect of him. Um, so I think going into season two, I, I think in a similar vein, we explore that capacity for pain, but not necessarily in that f looking back. I think we do tend to look forward and kind of look for new avenues as to like why he is feeling the way he is. I am gonna have to wrap, but thank you guys for chatting with me. Thank, thank you. you, nice to meet you. Yeah, you as well, have a great one.